Good evening, I'm Charlie Gaddy. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, I'm Charlie Gaddy, and welcome to For our For 20 new years, Charlie Gaddy has brought Live. the news to We've the viewers of Eastern North Carolina. But it was as a page at NBC in Washington where Charlie first got the feel of the anchor desk. There's a picture of me as a skinny young man sitting in David Brinkley's seat, and I used to wonder how that would be to, and what a, what a responsibility that would be uh, to sit there and to, uh, uh, to give the news to lots of people. In other news, Lieutenant Governor Jim Hunt showing his concern. And since 1974, the the Charlie has, has taken that responsibility to heart as anchor and field reporter. This is North Carolina's executive mansion. It has that very prestigious address of 200 North Blunt Street in Raleigh. In 1976, North Carolina First Lady Pat Holzhauser oh, took beautiful. Charlie and the viewers on a rare television tour of the newly renovated Governor's Mansion. Charlie, one of the most fascinating things for people visiting the mansion has always been the staircase. And so Ronald Reagan has been inaugurated as the 40th President of the United States. Charlie was he there in 1981 the for the inauguration the of Ronald Reagan. And back to the nation's capital for George Bush's inaugural celebration. Well, you can't believe what a beautiful day it is. And Welcome to Red Springs, North Carolina. The people who live here know what it means to try to survive a tornado. Red Springs, 1984. We were coming in here with the firemen and the rescue people at the same time we were that early. The North Raleigh tornado, 1988. This part of the shopping center is gone. The worst of the damage happened in Orange County. The Hillsboro Twister, 1992. Gerald Bass was in his mobile home with his nine-year-old daughter when the tornado hit. But some of his assignments took Charlie far from the Tar Heel State. Liberty Weekend in New York, 1986. A bunch of North Carolinians, along with millions of other Americans, came here to wish Lady Liberty a happy birthday. In 1984, it was across the pond to Plymouth, England, for the 400th anniversary of the colonization of America. The flag of the state of North Carolina flies today on a beautiful day beside the Stars and Stripes and the Union Jack here on the West Pier of Plymouth Harbor. In 1988, it was halfway around the world to the people. People's Republic of China. Standing here, it's difficult to imagine how far we are from North Carolina, but think about this. North Korea is a few hundred miles that way, Mongolia a few hundred miles that way, and less than a hundred miles this way is Siberia. But covering the military has sent Charlie all around the globe. Honduras, 1987. The 82nd Airborne took us to some of their forward positions in the rugged mountains of Honduras today. Saudi Arabia and Operation Desert Shield in 1990. And so after the long plane ride, they are here in these tents. The temperature inside these tents, 110 degrees. Also inside these tents, hundreds of people who a short time ago left their civilian jobs. Normandy, 1994, and the 50th anniversary of D-Day. The sound of artillery would replace the sound of those crashing waves. The sand would turn red with the blood of Allied soldiers. And the people of this part of France would have true heroes for life.